For every woman who experiences an abortion, there is a man and family associated. It is also common that post-abortion stress syndrome will follow. Past effects families, athletes, relationships, women, men, and students. Past does not discriminate. Never heard of post-abortion syndrome. Um, I can kind of guess what it is, um, and I think that um, you know, like uh, it's that's a big decision. Um, no matter which side of the issue you stand on, I think it's a huge decision. So, um, just like any other traumatic experience, I mean, uh, I could see it having a pretty deep effect on people. I have heard about post-abortion stress syndrome, and. Um, I personally don't know anybody who has it, but um, I mean, I guess it's something that you know usually happens after having an abortion. You know, for somebody who who didn't expect for it to be that way, you know, thinking, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have an abortion, you know, and then you know later all of these feelings come along with it. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen after. I was with my first boyfriend and we had already had a child. I became pregnant at the age of 19, uh, was, uh, had my first baby at uh, 20. At 21, I was pregnant with my second baby. I thought that if I was smart enough and I was very intelligent, probably I would be accepted and I would be loved and, and being caring. And I put all my energy on my books and I wanted to be somebody important. Through my years university, I focused all my energy on my studies to fill the emptiness that I have on my heart, on my life. When I met uh, this gentleman and started getting out with him and have a relationship, uh, so dating and soon um, we start uh, having a sexual relationship and from that I got pregnant and then everything changed in my life. I was in a relationship where it was physically abusive and therefore when I became pregnant at 21 we both agreed because our relationship was not a stable one we both agreed that it was best to have an abortion. It was a decision that we both made together. However, um, and it promised me a way out of that relationship if I chose to have that abortion. I was involved in a pregnancy when I was way too young to be, um, and we made that decision together. And I mean, even today, this is like 10 years ago, even today there are times that, you know, it, I think about it. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that doesn't particularly put me in a good mood when I'm thinking about it. So um, I have no idea how women relate to that, um, but I know that it was something that bothered me um, when it happened. And when I think about it 10 years down the line, it still bothers me. For men, the abortion issue is a paradox. At a time when men are changing roles and becoming increasingly involved raising their children, they are systematically denied the right to be involved in life or death decisions affecting their unborn children. This powerlessness takes its toll not only on the male self-image, but it can bring on role conflict, excessive guilt, depression, and often the end of the relationship with his partner. I know uh, several people and I personally had one myself and um, it wasn't a very easy process, it was very difficult, you know, depending on the person, you know, the woman, it's going to vary, you know, what, what happens after, but it's a very difficult, very difficult process. I mean, personally it was for me. I was angry at God. I, it was at a point, of, it was one of my lowest point where after the abortion I was a very broken woman. I was a woman that could not love herself and could not love others either. And I know that it was because of the abortions. I was broken. I was broken inside. 
um, everything, all my roles as a mother, I could not with I could not withhold because I was I never felt good enough to be a mother. I never felt good enough to be a daughter. I never felt good enough to be anything, and that was the aftermath of the abortions. I remember that I went through different episodes of um, getting suicidal. Once I tried to jump from a bridge um, on the freeway, uh, people need to hold me because I was jumping into the freeway. And they called the ambulance and they took me to a mental hospital. So that way I will try to be rescue and be alive. The next time I just grab a knife and trying to call, cut myself from whatever part of my body and ended all the pain that I was having because of this um, abortion. Then the third time I just wanted to take a bunch of pills and ended it. The pain and the shame and the accusation that I was having because I had this abortion. If I recognize one of my friends uh, having, you know, um, you know, some trouble um, because of uh, an abortion, um, yeah, and if I knew a place where they could go and, and get help or at least be able to talk about it um, to, like, a professional, I would definitely um, recommend it to them, definitely. I looked for programs, you know, and it was really hard for me to cope, so I wanted to find places where I can just go and, you know, like, de-stress and, you know, vent and... It was just really hard for me because I had nobody around me, you know, that, um, you know, that understood what I was going through. As time went by, um, I accepted the Lord into my heart. I accepted Jesus into my heart. And when I accepted Jesus, things started changing. And the first thing that uh, God started talking to me in my heart was about the abortions. That's how I came to uh, be able to realize and was able to come out of denial because the Lord started prompting me in my heart of something that I had done, not in a condemning way, but more in a loving way because God loved me that much to the point where it was there was a point in my life that I could not love myself, but God, I knew God loved me more than I could ever love myself. And that was a turning point for me when God found me at my very lowest point of my life. The only hope that I knew it very deep into my heart was I needed God and I needed him to forgive me what I did wrong and I needed to him to accept me and I needed a second chance from him. I remember the day I prayed to him and I went into my knees even that didn't know, knew him the way I know him now. I asked if you forgive me, please just let me know that you really forgive me. And it just I feel it on my heart. I know that you really, really did it. I want to encourage any woman or men that have gone through an abortion to seek healing. I find a lot of people choose not to. I guess they don't believe it's possible for them. But I want to encourage them that yes, there is healing. It's very possible, and it's very it. It's a new way of life when you have been healed and set free from the shame of your past. If there's centers, if there's programs, if there's anything like that, I encourage everybody and anybody who knows anybody or anybody that had an abortion to go for it because it'll help you out a lot. When a loved one passes away, they're given a proper burial. When a child is born, they're given a name. However, when a child is aborted, the parents are never given permission to mourn their loss. Even if a child never lived outside the womb, he or she deserves a name. Having a name for that child allows a person to talk about their loss in a personal way and will give them the peace of being forgiven and set free. I know this rarely hurts For those of you who wish you would have gave that baby birth But it's too late now Cause your child ain't around I know it hurts to your core That guilt is weighing you down But I've got good news And some healing for your hurts 
Christ Jesus came, he descended to the earth, but he ain't come for good people or even the just. He came into the world just for sinners like us. So yeah, he's really grieved when we take our babies late. Cause he made them, but he came to save us from our plate. He came shining light that he can save us from our night. Erases all the shame, homie, he can make us right. Confess it and believe in the one who paid your cost. He died in your place, there's forgiveness at the cross. He can give us life.